بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear students at Retail International Academy Regarding the worksheet I uploaded to you about questions from 1 to 3 We will work on it now together So I hope from each one of you will take his notes and try to figure out the answers before I, before I give it to you We have this circuit, question 1 and the question was what current will flow through the 4 ohms resistor when the switch is closed if we close the switch here in this case we have switch at open so you have to know which rule what is the rule we followed here so this is what we mean when we close the switch before we close the switch you have to know that uh, you have to know that no current will flow through this resistor let us see it on the simulation so this is the simulation we use it regarding the questions we have a 4 volt battery I have 4 ohm resistor I have another 2 ohm resistors and here the switch is open when the switch is open no current flow here as you see Currents directly come from positive terminal. In this case, go up here. Do not go here because the switch is uh, on, and uh, keep on his track and its track until it's reached the negative terminal on the other side. If I close it, the case change. There is a current here because it is there is a path, so it's allowed current to flow in. So we need to calculate the current uh, on uh, 4 ohm resistors before we calculate it let us see this is the current in 4 ohm put it here give us 1 amp so let us calculate it on exam you are not able to use a meter you have to calculate it numerically so be with me and I will ask, I will give you the answer so the first principle was after we close the switch the current will flow through the 4 ohm resistor if we close the switch the current come this side and the, uh, uh, the current will flow through 4 ohm resistor this is the first principle you have to know it the second one you have to look on resistors 4 ohm and resistor with 2 ohm and with voltage 4 volt you have to know this principle a voltage remains the same in parallel resistance so this 4 volt is a, is a, the battery is a voltage source for this circuit so here the voltage would be 4 volt here the voltage would be 4 volt you have to know this principle too so this two principle is the key principle to solve this question so now it's easy for ourselves we could use Ohm's law V equal I R a voltage equal current I times R capital uh, capital R which means resistance so I know the voltage I, uh, and, and you know V1 equal V2 V1 here equal V2 here solve for I here divide by R in each case divide by R divide by R I equal VR I have the voltage already 4 volt 4 volt here and I, and I have the resistance here 4 ohm 4 ohm 4 is give us for 1 ampere so as we see in simulation the answer was 1 amp this is the answer for the first question now for the second one okay second one if the first one was wrong with you 1 amp be sure that the second and the third question would be wrong with you so be careful in this question so you have to know here the total resistance they are in parallel in parallel we add the resistance we add the invert for each resistance 1 over total resistance this T uh, that means total equal 1 over uh, R1 plus 1 over R2 so we add the inverse for each resistance 1 over 4 ohm plus 1 over 2 ohm here I could multiply by 2 to take common denominator multiply by 2 
multiply here by 2 become 2 over 4 1 plus 2 give us 3 over 4 be careful here most students give us this answer the total resistance 3 over 4 oh this is wrong it's the wrong question uh, this wrong answer sorry you have to invert it back if you invert it Resist, total resistance equal 4 over 3 ohm. You might see it here in the multiple choice questions. 1.33 ohm. So this is the total resistance. And third question, what is the total power dissipated in the circuit when the switch is closed? Again, if we close the switch, what is the total power here? Okay, regarding powers, we have three equations on or using Ohm's law. We have first one power equal IV, the second one V squared over R, the third one P equal I squared over R. So these three rules used to calculate total power on a circuit. Okay dissipated in the circuit if they give us questions about calculate the power dissipated in 4 ohm be careful here we could use a current throw for ohm 1 amp but they they give it to us it is about total circuit or about the circuit we have to use the uh, one of these equations so I have the voltage for volt I have the total resistance already I calculated now 4 over 3 so I'm able to use this equations here if I calculate the total current I'm able to use it here and use it here through a circuit so P equal V squared over R so 4 squared over 4 over 3 calculated power equal 12 watt the total power dissipated by the circuit equal 12 watt you might use this one but you have to calculate the total current here here the current would be 1 amp and here it's in parallel and 2 and 4 that's mean the current would be 2 amp through the 2 ohm resistance 1 amp and 2 amp here they will uh, they will combine together again so the total would be 3 amp this is the total current on a circuit so 3 squared times r times 4 over 3 9 times 4 over 3 you can cancel you will get 3 times 4 which is equal 12 again same answer here P equal IV 3 directly times 4 and again it will give us 12 watt well, any, uh, any of this equation would give you the answer any of these equ equations so I hope you understand everything regarding this, these questions Good day to you. Thank you.